That word karma is an interesting one, isn't it, Colleen? It is. Do you think what goes around comes around? Yes, so get I the do. Just desserts. Yes, do you, I you do. Say, I love the way you say it. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I do. do. <laughs> no, I do, actually. And you know what? It's funny because it's something my mother always said to me. Whenever I was upset about anything from a very young age, my mum always used to say, don't worry, what goes around comes around. And I, at the time, you know, when you're a teenager, you think, shut up, mum. But actually, I do. And, and it's made me a much less... I don't hold grudges with anyone that I've fallen out with or that have been nasty. I don't hold on to anything because I do believe that at some point in their lives, karma will come back and she's a bee. But then are you disappointed if it doesn't? That was well edited, wasn't it? Yes, then? it was. <laughs> <laughs> Am I disappointed? Well, no, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I truly believe it will at some point. And also... Because of the way I feel about that, I'm not disappointed it doesn't, because I stopped thinking about that person as soon as it happened, you know. Once right. I've been got over the hurt, I just think, Do you know what, just let it go and life karma will sort that person out. And, mm -hmm. and I move on from it. And it just make, keeps me from holding any, I don't know, hatred or resentment. It's like, I just think that's more unhealthy than so holding just leave on this it to anger. Karma. Yeah, Janet, I, I just think leave it. My life karma. mantra is stand by the bank of the river long enough and the end, bodies of your enemies will float by. <gasps> Ooh, oh, don't hey, oh, wow. Wow. In other words, you don't need to do anything. They will be hoisted by their own petard. Janet, do you prefer chucking them in the river? <laughs> well, what I do, big boot behind it like that. I can't <laughs> speak about relationships because I've, the minute they're over, they're over. I never, you know, I don't think about blame because usually I'm to blame. <laughs> so there's no point in dwelling <laughs> on the concept of blame in a relationship. Um, I'm kind of a guilt-free zone. I just go on to the next thing. But when it comes to work and in my professional career, I have been well and truly done over by certain people in my career. I'm not even going to name now, but they know who they are. So what I tend to do is curse them. I write their names on a bit of paper and then I stab it a few times and I kind of curse them and I just hope that their careers go down the dumper. And um, several... So you Has consciously do that? Why not? What's wrong with it? Um, they no? gave me a really unpleasant time and only, I'm not doing anything other than willing it. And when you said earlier on the show, was I a witch? I remember one of my horoscopes, where, way back at the start of my career, I went for a horoscope with this guy, Frederick Davis, and he said I had psychic powers. <laughs> I don't know if you don't be... What about you? Yeah. No, I, I think I'm like Colleen. I mean, I'm not saying... Uh, that does make you sound a bit virtuous, doesn't it? And, I mean, there have been times that I've wanted to absolutely... Oh, absolutely. You know, see them Initially. get it big time. But you're right, it, it doesn't actually do you any good because you just end you're up being the one it. who's kind of torn up with all yeah. that anger and resentment I have and a it friend, makes you feel rubbish. I have a friend yeah. who literally has grudges from 20, 30 years ago yeah. and they are still as strong in her as they were yeah. when it happened. I'm not saying when somebody wrongs you or hurts you that your instant response is you're angry yeah. or you're sad or you're, you know, hurt, but you've got to let it go, in my opinion. That's what interests me, you're saying people take it for a long time. People who take grudges to the grave... Yeah. ..that really un unsettles me and as we're all getting older, you know, I mean, there are people in my extended circle you know, that have fallen out at an earlier age. And you think, well, you're not going to be here forever or that person isn't going to be here mm. forever. Yeah. Do you want to end like that, the sort of final curtain? Well, I'll be taking my devil Bendy in the coffin with me. Your, Your devil what? Bendy? My devil Bendy toy. He's the one that I, I give it... I, Given it a sex, I realise <laughs> it's a little yellow bendy toy that's a devil, and I tell I've told him all the people on the uh, list. I'm just beginning to oh. feel a bit nervous. I don't know about <laughs> you girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, has Devil Bendy got quite a big list there? Well, as the, uh, as the years have gone by, some of the people have gone to the other side. Okay. It has been an absolute pleasure being with you today, <laughs> Janet. I must say you're looking magnificent, isn't she, Colleen? She's looking fabulous, I but I think you're fabulous. Nice I think you need to get back are. to your cauldron. It's going out back there. <laughs>